The president's flurry of executive actions has immigrant communities and advocates on edge, as the harsh rhetoric of the campaign translates now to executive fiat. With more immigration-focused action expected, the president issued two executive orders calling for the building of a southern border wall, hiring 5,000 more Border Patrol agents, 10,000 more ICE agents, building detention facilities closer to the border, ending the so-called catch-and-release policy, and expanding deportation criteria. It also threatens so-called sanctuary cities with the loss of federal funding. It's time to restore the civil rights of Americans to protect their jobs, their hopes, and their dreams for a much better future. Congress passed these laws to serve our citizens, and it's about time those laws were properly enforced. They're not enforced. That drew immediate pushback from officials in East Orange, which recently officially declared itself a sanctuary city. Council President Ted Green says the city has promised to stand up for immigrants documented and otherwise. We are not changing anything because we do believe that the policy that we have in place is a sound policy and it's the right policy to have. And East Orange always have been on the forefront in terms of being first on protecting people's rights. Newark has not declared itself officially a sanctuary city, but its policies mirror that point of view. Mayor Rasparaka said he's not surprised by the president's actions since Trump has been threatening these measures since the beginning of his campaign. I think the people that are scared are probably uh, innocent folks in this community who are undocumented, who are immigrants, who maybe feel like their life will be upended, uh, that they will be arrested or deported or, or, or even attacked. But like a lot of the president's policy initiatives in the first few days, the threat to the so-called sanctuary cities are vague and could face legal challenges. The question is what kind of funding that he's talking about that could affect you know, municipalities. Um, but we have already heard that you know a lot of municipalities in New Jersey, city mayors like Ross Baraka in Newark, have come out and said that you know we believe in sanctuary policies. That's within our right to 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 adopt, and that we are not going to you know. Um, comply with what um, um, the executive order says. If they say they're not going to change, I can guarantee them something. Donald Trump is going to take away federal funding if you don't comply with the law. And yeah. that's what the executive order he signed said. And I'm sure we'll have a court fight over that and all the rest of it. We'll see where it lands. But do not doubt this guy's resolve. The president could also target so-called dreamers, those who were brought into the U.S. without documentation as children a group protected by executive orders from President Obama. Marisol Conde Hernandez, undocumented and in her final year of law school, laments what she sees as a complacency that has led to the current situation. And I think that the collective inaction, whether it be, whether that passiveness or passivity was due to relying on, hey, look, we have our first you know, president of color, assuming that that would bring about the change that we wanted. I think maybe that was where we, where a lot of us went wrong. So yes, um, I'm angry. I'm angry at a lot of things. Sometimes I can even articulate why I'm angry, but that anger is, I'm channeling it to further organize our communities to create the action, to not just create, but to demand the action from the people that we hold accountable. The week is not over yet. We heard that there will be more. Um, and that, you know, the least we want to do is to actually spread the rumor. Um, but we also want to, you know, be ready to be able to respond as soon as possible. David Cruz joins us now. That import tax option announced by the White House spokesman, is this an indication of Trump's negotiating style? Yeah, I mean, it's what, not even a week yet into this administration, and he seems to have set the entire nation on its head with a flurry of executive action, uh, particularly as it pertains to Mexico. This is really kind of a dangerous track he's going down because, I mean, for the Mexicans, it's a $300 billion market, the U.S., and 20 percent uh, tariff could have a serious impact on the economy there. And then what do we do when Mexico places its own tariff on the United States? And then if Mexico fails uh, as an economy, what happens then? Is there any indication that immigrant groups can galvanize to march on Washington, or would that be just too dangerous? I think that's a good question. Uh, we saw half a million people more in Washington, D.C. this weekend, and millions around the world, really. Uh, I, I'm, it's a good question because 
the Democrats seem to have been pushed on their heels and progressive communities seem to have pushed back, uh, have been pushed back on their heels. And it's a question of can they get enough people out there and illegals, in quotes, will they want to come out and protest as well because of danger to them? David Cruz, thank you. Yeah.